It's officially summer travel season, which means it's time for me to stock up on some more miles to pay for future flights whenever I want to go on another vacation. So Barclays really has my attention right now because they have some incredible offers on their business credit cards for the airlines. As I record this video, the Hawaiian Airlines business card is offering 80,000 miles, the JetBlue business card is offering 80,000 points, and the Advantage Aviator business for American Airlines is also offering 80,000 miles. And as a semi-frequent flyer on AA, that bonus looks really darn good to me. So in today's video, you get to watch me apply. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten to get some hotel day passes through Resort Pass. That way you can use the pool, spa, and other amenities without having to pay for a room. And to view my all new site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. So interesting story. I've actually had this card before. It's now, of course, canceled because I haven't had it for a number of years now. I just kept the physical card as a visual prop for you all in this video. But I'll be going to apply for this a second time with a new bonus. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'll review my credit score, some of the underlying factors on my credit report, and how I'm able to pull this off a second time based on some rules that Barclays has that you definitely want to be aware of if you apply for it yourself. In the meantime, let's get this out application underway. We're going to go up here to barclaycardus.com and then down to browse credit cards. Gotta love it when they make it easy on you. The card I want is right here at the very top. There's the Advantage Aviator World Elite Business Master card with the 80,000 mile bonus and $95 statement credit. So I'll go over to learn more. So I gotta say, this is one of the best offers I've ever seen on this card because not only is there a big bonus, plus the statement credit, which entirely wipes out the annual fee in the first year. So really this card costs me nothing for 12 months, but it also only requires a $2,000 spend requirement in what, 90 days. So 2,000 bucks divided by three months, that's roughly $667 per month. Very easy to meet that with my regular expenses that I have on a monthly basis here. Uh, on my business side especially. So let's go ahead and click on apply now. I'll zoom in here for you all so it's easy to see. We've got the business information starting first. So the legal business name, if you're just applying as an individual, so a sole proprietor, for example, you can put your first and last name here or first, middle, and last name. The legal entity type, so if you have, let's see what options they have here. A general partnership, corporation, limited partnership, LLC, or unincorporated association. If you formed any of these entities, select the one that is corresponding to your current situation and put that on the application. Again, if you're an individual, just applying with your name, that will be a sole proprietor. Then if you have a trading name, go ahead and place that right here. How many years you've been in business the number of employees. Let's see if Barclays allows you to put zero or if they want one. So zero apparently works. Uh, I usually just count myself as one. Um, some applications do require you to count yourself. So just to avoid any sort of situation where it might uh, be a problem, I would just count yourself. Then we have the annual business revenue. So put your amount there for what you're making currently per year. Your business phone number, if you have one, if it's just your own cell phone number, you can place that as well, not a problem. And then the country of formation. So I'm gonna fill out these forms right here and then be back for the next part. All right, first part complete. Now the next section here on the application is to enter your business address. So first line, second line, city, state, zip code, all the regular stuff for a typical address. If you work from home, you can put your home address without any sort of issue. Also, the nature of your business will be the drop down arrow right here. Let's see what this is. So this is basically the industry that you operate in. Tons of different options here. Uh, if it's not perfectly exactly what you are, then just use something that is the uh, closest in resemblance to what you actually do. So for me and my online business here with YouTube, uh, the best and closest I can get to is likely going to be arts, entertainment, and recreation. And then once you select yours, you'll then have a second drop down for the nature of business subcategory, uh, basically to get more specific. So underneath that, I'm gonna be more under entertainment and then we'll have, let's see, internet publishing and broadcasting most likely. Then to wrap this section up, we have a final question. Does your business trade or intend to trade with or operate within any of the following countries? They're listed there. For me, that's a no. 
And now we're on to the next section called personal information, which means it's all about you. So we got first name, last name, phone number, email. Again, if some of the stuff you also use for your business, that's okay. A uh, position in business. Let's see what options we have here with the scroll down. Owner, officer, president, partner, or other. Uh, for me, that's owner. Choose what is uh, most relevant for you. Percentage of ownership. For me, that's 100%. Am I a U.S. citizen? Yes. Why do we ask for your country of citizenship? It gives you a reason there. Resident status, if you own, rent, or other. Then it prompts you for your personal address right here. So if that, again, is the same as your business address, leave this radio button selected. Otherwise, you can add a new address and form fields will drop down right there. Okay, let's keep going here. Oh, we're almost at the end of the application. Now we've got security information. So here you'll put your security number, date of birth, and your total annual gross income. We then have a section that is very important if you want this to go very smoothly in terms of tracking all the miles you earn if you already have another Advantage card or if you already have an American Airlines profile or whatever. And this will hold true for any other airline card that you apply for because Barclays also has the JetBlue cards. And even if we're talking about Chase or Bank of America or whatever, um, if you have a loyalty number with the airline credit card that you're applying for, put that right here. Which means if you have two or three Delta cards or American Airline cards, Southwest cards, et cetera, all the miles earned from all those cards will be pooled to the same account at the very end of it all. We then also have optional services if you wanna add additional cards for employees. If you're going for a personal card, that's the equivalent of an authorized user. Electronic delivery consent, so read through that and go ahead and view the e-sign disclosures. Below that, we have the legal terms and conditions for this card product, as well as the terms and conditions going over your APR, any fees that may be involved with your account, etc. So I'll now go fill out the remaining form fields and return shortly after. All right, so after carefully checking every single thing that I wrote there to make sure that there are zero errors anywhere, I recommend you do the same because you don't want to have any sort of pending status or denial based on one digit mistype for your social security number, for example. So uh, we seem to be good to go. All that is left is a big apply now button. Whoops, there we go. Are you all ready? Cause I am. Let's zoom on out to have the full view and smack that apply now button and boom. And again, and again, and again. All right, so it seems like it's not working. I'm gonna try this again. I'm in what, Safari right now. Let's do a Chrome browser. So I'll quickly open that up, fill everything out all over again, and then we'll try it from Chrome. All right, so just completed the form a second time here in the Chrome browser. Let's click on apply now and see if this makes any sort of difference with the overall submission. Ah, maybe so. Good. Mm-hmm. Typical Barclays fashion here. Application under review right now. Unfortunately, we were not able to provide you with an immediate decision uh, on the application. It requires further review, which may take up to 10 days. They'll notify me within 30 days, often sooner. And you can also check the website to view the status at myapplicationstatus.com. So I'm gonna call Barclays and see what's up. Off to Google, type in Barclays reconsideration line. Yeah, I'll try miles to memories. That's a great blog. Okay, so Barclays card reconsideration line phone numbers. All right, calling now, 866-408-4064. Four. Let's go on speakerphone. Here we go. Thank you for calling. Your call may be monitored and recorded. Thank you for calling Credit Services. My name is Brian. This call may be monitored or recorded. How can I help you today? Hey, good afternoon, Brian. This is Jeffrey Reese. I just submitted an application for the um, Advantage Aviator business card, and it went to pending, saying there was more information that was needed. Would you be able to check on that for me? It'd be my pleasure. Awesome, yeah, thank you. have um, the phone number you use to submit your request. And then can you just remind me of your first and last name one more time? Sure, Jeffrey Reese. Thank you very much, Mr. Reese. Let me just go ahead and look for it. Sure thing. Okay, uh, before I go any further, can I please verify a date of birth of your social? All right, and this is for your business, so can you just explain to me what the nature of the business is? Yep, it's online publishing for financial education. So I create videos about credit, budgeting, finance, all that type of stuff. So online courses, YouTube, etc. Awesome. That's really, really cool. Thank you. A lot of fun to do that, especially since a lot of schools don't teach that stuff. Yes, sir. <laughs> some, some people have to learn the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm going to put you in a brief hold while I 
do my due diligence. I'm going to take a look at your credit report as well as the um, any accounts that you may or may not have with us. Just give me about five minutes of your time. I'll hop back on the line shortly, okay? You got it. Thank you. Yep, I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and approve $5,000. You should receive your card in the mail in the next 7 to 10 business days. Today being June 20th, I want to say sometimes toward the end of next week. Uh, it'll also come on along with the welcome packet. Um, do you have any additional questions at this point in time, sir? Uh, no, that's all for today. I really, really thank you for pushing that through for me. That was a huge help. My pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. You as well. Bye-bye. Boom, I love a new application approval. Even if you have to go through the reconsideration line, it's oftentimes very helpful just to talk with a live person, explain your situation, answer any questions they may have, provide some more info, and hopefully get a no turn around into a yes. Anyway, now onto my credit score details and some additional information about Barclays in terms of their application process for this card. My credit scores before applying for this card were as follows. Experian at 802, TransUnion at 804, and Equifax at 821. For my inquiries, I had seven on Experian, five on TransUnion, and one on Equifax. And then for my new accounts that were showing on my credit report, I broke those down into three different categories. I had one new account showing in the past six months, two new cards in the past 12 months, and four in the past 24 months. My average age of accounts or average length of credit history was four years, two months, and my relationship with Barclays prior to applying was one personal card, that's the No Annual Fee Advantage Aviator card, which was a downgrade from the previous Advantage Aviator red card. Then my one business card with Barclays is the Wyndham Rewards Earner Business. And here's what happened after I submitted my application. My TransUnion score went from 804 down to 800, so a drop of four points due to the new inquiry being added to my report. Then to the right of that, under inquiries, you'll see my TransUnion is now at six, where previously it was five, so Barclays pulled my TransUnion report, therefore adding one new inquiry to that report for their small business application. I can't guarantee that will always be the case. Sometimes different banks pull different reports based on your location, but for the most part, Barclays tends to favor TransUnion. And for my new account, and average age of accounts, there was no change to either of those factors because Barclays business credit cards do not appear on your personal credit report. So if they don't show up, they can't make any impact. And now for a few more things that you'll definitely want to pay attention to. Number one, I first got this AA card back in August of 2018 and I closed it in September 2019. So I had it for a little over one year. This made my total wait time from the account closure date to my new application date 33 months all in or two years, nine months. Number two, my last Barclays card was the Wyndham Rewards Earner Business, which was opened in October 2021. The total wait time here from that account opening to this new AA card that I just got approved for was eight months. And it's strongly recommended to have six or more months between Barclays applications. Number three, I made sure to use my two existing Barclays cards for a variety of transactions in the month prior to applying for this new AA card. That's because Barclays really favors people who use their existing products before extending additional lines of credit or new products. From their perspective, it's kind of like, why would I give you another card if you don't even use your existing card? And the fourth bullet point at the bottom, at first I had a moderately high utilization on my credit report. That was about 42% and that was on my uh, Chase Sapphire Preferred card. So I paid off that statement balance first and let my new utilization get reported, that was around 2% or so, before applying for this new AA card. And that's because an additional two factors that a lot of banks look at for a new credit card application is A, your income level, and B, your debt level. So based on how much money you make and how much debt you have currently on outstanding balances, so auto loans, mortgages, other credit cards, student loans, etc., they may actually deny you if you have too much debt compared to how much money you make. And lastly, I wanted to show you a screenshot from the terms and conditions for this offer, specifically here highlighted in blue. This one-time offer is valid for new accounts only existing accounts and previous card members with accounts closed in the past 24 months may not be eligible for this offer. Whenever I see that may not language, it's always kind of vague and it's really up to the discretion of the bank who wrote these terms to really make the ultimate decision here. So if you have this card in the past, even if it's been, let's say 12 months or 13 months, could you get the bonus again and the card again? Maybe so, but I personally would not really test Barclays um, limits here and you want to play the game of course according to all the rules set 
to really maximize your chances of getting good value and also keeping the banks very happy with you as a customer. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on those notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, to get some hotel day passes through Resort Pass, that way you can use the pool, spa, and other amenities without having to pay for a room, and to view my all new site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video, hope it brought you some great value and some confidence if you go into an application for a Barclays business credit card yourself. I look forward to seeing you in future videos, and while you're waiting on my next upload, remember always that you are great.